The world of religion is no stranger to mysteries and supernatural occurrences. And in this episode, I'll be featuring 10 of some of the biggest religious mysteries ever. How's it going guys? Welcome back to FD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting one. So stick around until the end. I don't want you to miss any of these. Okay, so let's jump in now at number 10. We have angelic encounters. Many books have been written and countless stories have been told of people who believe they have had encounters with angels. Sometimes they are described as beings of light. Other times they're described as being beautiful human beings, while others they're just described as being regular looking humans. They almost always appear in a time of need, whether it's some sort of major life intervention or if somebody needs a little bit of encouragement, that angel might show up in whatever form it chooses to take on. But were they actually angels though? Kind of similar to number 10 is number nine, Marian apparitions. For centuries, visions of Mary, the mother of Jesus, have been reported in different parts of the world. Claims of apparitions continue nowadays, and in the year 1968, a Marian apparition was even allegedly televised in the country of Egypt. Mary usually asks people to pray and occasionally makes prophecies. Of course, you know, there's a very famous occurrence happening in Fatima, Portugal, where they said Mary had made a prophecy there. But skeptics say that these visions and uh, these appearances of Mary are hallucinations or maybe even mass hysteria. And there's even others that say that this is actually comparable to when people see UFOs and have alien encounters. Mystery number eight is the Ark of the Covenant. The New Testament book of Exodus describes in detail this box that's overlaid with gold. And it was something that the ancient Israelites built from God's instructions to contain the tablets that hold the Ten Commandments. But not only that, the Israelites carried it wherever they went and even into battles because it was said to have incredible powers. The Ark was to represent the throne of God and some think that the Ark was literally a transmitter of God's power and in turn made it a very powerful weapon. It is believed by many researchers that the Ark is actually still in existence today but it's hidden and protected somewhere in the world. Number seven brings us to a fascinating mystery incorruptibles. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, incorruptibles are bodies of people, usually saints or other people that are revered, that miraculously do not decay, even after decades or even centuries. The bodies often lie in public view in churches and shrines, and saints and popes and even some companions of the Islamic prophet Muhammad are among those whose bodies are believed to have been preserved. There was one case of the Blessed Margaret of Matola, and it was recorded in an article called Saints Preserve Us. And the article says, and I quote, she died in 1330, but in 1558, her remains had to be transferred because her coffin was rotting away. Witnesses say the clothes have rotted, but Margaret's body hadn't. Stigmata comes in at number six. This is one of the most controversial mysteries in this episode. When a person is somehow inflicted with the wounds of crucifixion, you know, like Jesus had in their palms usually, or sometimes in their feet, that is known as stigmata. This phenomenon dates back to at least St. Francis of Assisi and has been claimed by numerous people since then. Many unofficial accounts of stigmatas have been proven to be frauds though, where people were found out to have just put the wounds in their bodies themselves. Weeping and bleeding icons is another big mystery. Statues and paintings and other likenesses of Jesus and Mary as well as other saints that appear to be weeping and sometimes even weeping blood are commonly reported around the world. There's often multiple claims of this in a given year and one occurrence was of a painting of Jesus hanging in the Bethlehem Church of the Nativity above the spot where Christ is said to have been born it's seen to be weeping red tears. Others include the weeping Madonna in Toronto, Canada, and many, many others. Skeptics, though, suspect fraud in all of these cases. The healing power of prayer comes up next. There is definitely a big ongoing debate about the healing power of prayer. You'll see articles and videos of experiments being carried out that show that prayer played a vital role in healing somebody. And then the next month, another source would say that, well, actually prayer didn't have any effect on healing somebody at all. And here's why. 
But either way, the question still stands, is prayer truly a miracle? Or is there some kind of psychic or quantum effect that humans do not fully understand yet that happens when somebody Praise. Moving on to number three, a very popular one, the Shroud of Turin. No matter how much scientific testing is done to the Shroud of Turin, the results are never satisfying for anyone. Well, that is anyone that believes that the Shroud of Turin is what they say it is. Those who want to believe that it is the burial cloth of Jesus will definitely not be proven wrong despite carbon dating and other tests. The shroud is a 14-foot strip of linen on which is faintly imprinted the likeness of a man that seems to bear the wounds of crucifixion. And there are people that believe that this is in fact an image of Jesus whose likeness was miraculously imprinted on the cloth, possibly at the time of his resurrection. Radiocarbon dating in 1988 concluded that the shroud dates back only to somewhere between 1260 and 1390 AD, so that's well after the time of Jesus. One theory is that it's actually a creation of Leonardo da Vinci. Either way, those who believe this is in fact a face covering for Jesus question how accurate radiocarbon dating is anyways. Let's look at the Star of Bethlehem at number two. While billions of people around the world accept New Testament Gospels as being fact, Religious scholars and scientists, they often seek a scientific basis for many of the events that are described in the New Testament. And one common occurrence referred to in the New Testament is the Star of Bethlehem. According to the Gospel of Matthew, there were some magi who arrived in Jerusalem and they were in search for the newborn king of the Jews, saying that they had followed a moving star to get there. Researchers say that the star could have been something else, like a comet, or the planet Jupiter, or a supernova, or even a UFO. But whatever was seen in the sky that night still remains a topic of debate. Was it actually a star, or was it something else? We end this episode off at number one. Let's take a look at prophecies. Various religions and their foundational texts, they're filled with prophecies that believers say have been or will eventually be proven true. Most religions across the board would agree that a prophet is a person who receives a divine message and speaks to other human beings on behalf of a deity. Now, whether the gift of prophecy continues in our present world, it's definitely still a subject of theological debate. But in recent years, self-described prophets, they have multiplied in the world. Many claim to be hearing directly from God only to be exposed as frauds when what they said was to happen didn't actually happen, and others would admit that they have lied. Yet still, there are those who believe that God can and has in fact spoken to people through various means and that all true prophecies and prophets will eventually be proven to be 100% true. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this episode. This was a look at 10 of the biggest religious mysteries. Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you a believer in any or all of these mysteries? Sound off down below, join in on the conversation. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. And if this is your first time here to the channel, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. Here at FTD Facts, we share facts and information about the various different countries, cultures, religions, and people of our world. So if those topics interest you, join the FTD Facts family, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.